Hi everybody! We wanted to do a wire bending demo for you today to demonstrate how to make the feet on our Get Chicky With It project. Our little bird chicks. The full ingredients list and the project instructions are available on our website and our website address is available at the end of this video. To make the chick feet we're going to be using traditional needle nose pliers and a 15 inch piece of industrial wire. To bend the feet we're going to go to the one end of the wire about a half to three quarters of an inch down we're going to fold over and make a bend. At the looped end we're going to crimp that close together and bend it so it's nice and flat. From there we're going to grasp the wire directly beneath the cut end and fold it upwards toward the bent toe, first bent toe, and then fold it backwards. I like to stop a little bit short of the full length of the center toe and bend it a little bit shorter so that the exterior toes are a little bit shorter than the center one. I'm going to grasp the wire at the heel and bend it towards the front to shape the third toe. Again, folding just short of that center toe length and crimping the ends. What we have there are the three toes now for that project. What we're doing from here is actually going to be inserting the wire at the bottom of the ball with the unfinished end. Um, by taking the felt's needle and making a pilot hole in the ball, what I like to do is actually chase the eye of the ball with the wire and push the needle directly through. We have a single piece then. No glue or sewing is going to be required to hold the chick legs and feet in place. We're going to repeat those beginning instructions here on the other end of the foot. Again, a half inch to three quarters of an inch from the end. We're going to bend and make that first toe. Crimping the end tightly to make that loop. Grabbing the end of the cut end, we're going to bend to form the second toe. Grasping just below the full length of the center toe, we're going to fold back the second side and crimp the end tight. And then grabbing at the heel area, we're going to bend all the way around to complete the third and final toe. So basically what we have here are two, two chick feet on each end there. All that's left really to do is whip the guy into shape, bending him. For him to sit, if you want him just to sit, we can bend the feet upwards so that he can sit like so. Or if you want him to stand, just bend him into shape to do so. I've even gone so far as to crimp, bend little knees in place to help him stand up. He's actually just adorable. Another added feature bend the little toes over so you make little tiny talons on the edges of each of the toes. And I do that just with the tips of the needle nose pliers holding the wire firmly between my fingers and bending it over. All the finishing instructions are on the pattern on the website and there you have it. Great little chicks. Adorable as ever.